Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 1539, Kate missing positive number. In this problem, we are given an array of positive integers which is sorted in a strictly increasing order and we are also given an integer k. And we need to return the kth positive integer that is missing from the array. So let's look at this example and see how we could solve this problem. So we are given this example here. So we just can know that positive integer which starts from 1. So we know that since this error doesn't have the value 1, since it's in strictly increasing, so 1 should come before 2, right? So since it doesn't have a value 1, so 1 is the first missing integer that we found. The next value would be we already have 2, 3, 4, and then next integer is 5 in the positive integers right but it doesn't have a value 5 so our next uh, missing integer is 5 and then it doesn't have a 6 so that's also missing we have a 7 here and then other integers that are missing are 8 9 10 and then we have the value 11 so the other missing integers are 12 and all other remaining integers so what's the fifth number fifth integer that's missing so that would be one two three four five so that's the value nine here so we got our answer and we return the value nine now how are we actually going to solve this problem so to solve this problem what are we going to do is uh, we are going to check um, start from the first element in our array and then compare it with the positive number that um, we are expecting it to be so in the series of positive number the first number that we expect uh, is one right so from the array we take the first element and then we compare this value with to this value is it equal well it's not equal right so we know that these values are not equal so this value is actually this element is missing from the array so we found our first missing array so to store that what are we going to use is let um, num be the positive integer that we are expecting and let j represent the position that um, that the missing number represents so so far um, we found the number zero uh, one and one is missing right so we found the first missing number and then what we do next is we increase the value of num to two that should be the next number that we are expecting and we compare this number with this same element and now we found the element so what we do is now we uh, update our index and we also increment the value of num so next element compared is three both of them are equals so we are can increase uh, the value of num and also point to the next element which is again equal so we again increment the value of num so now our value is five and we are looking for five but we found a seven so that means that five is missing from the array so we found our second element which is missing so again we found five now we increment eight to six and we look for six but still six is not there so we found our third element missing and next our value is equals to seven and we found our seven right here so we increment we go to the next index and we are now looking for the value 8 but 8 is not equals to 11 right so we found our fourth element missing and then we increment the value of 9 and now we are looking for 9 but 9 is again not equals to 11 so now we find our fifth um, positive integer missing in this area right so since we find our fifth positive integer which is what this question is looking for so we return the value in our nums variable so that will be our final answer and the time taken to solve this is since we are only iterating over each element once so that would be o of n time complexity and to solve this problem we only need two variables j and num and both of them are integer variables so that space complexity is o of one 
so now let's solve our problem using this method so we need a num variable which starts from the first positive integer value that is equals to one and then j represents the the in the uh, position of the missing integer so if we initially it's zero because we have not found the missing number yet and now let for each of the element of the array we are going to check if the element is missing or not so if num is not equals to the element which should mean that this positive integer num is missing let me represent it with a value p so that would be easy for us to um, infer that it's a positive integer so if p is not equals to the element that would mean that this is the missing number so what we do is we found our first missing number right so we found a missing number for first index uh, so we now then check if j is equals to k if this is equal that would mean that we found our uh, result and we return that result which is the value at variable p if not what we do is we increase the value of p and then we we want to check for the next element here what we did here was uh, if we go back a little bit and all right so let's look at this point here so once we found the value 7 at third index right so we came to this 11th index and then now here we were looking for the value 8 but we didn't find it right but we didn't uh, in we didn't move to the next element we still were looking at this index but we found our fourth index so we increment the value of j we incre also incremented the value of num but we didn't increment we are still looking at this variable because this is still greater right and we are looking for comparing the same value with uh, the value of num so that's what we will do we, we are going to use a while loop here and then compare this same element with an increased value of positive integer and also looking for a next position and if in case p is equals to the value at that array then what are we going to do is we are just going to increase the value of p because we know that we found this positive integer is equal to the that element at the index uh, of that array but now we need the next element also right next positive integer also and uh, finally what are also we also going to do is we are also going to check if j is less than k that would mean that the array size is very less um, and we still didn't find our k position so we will keep on searching for other positive integers and then finally we are going to return our positive integer at the position k now let's run and see if it works awesome let's submit our code great hope you liked it